BrainWise presents Grade 6, Math, Quizby, Part 4 Calling all mathletes! Welcome back to BrainWise, your training ground for becoming math superstars! Today, we're pushing our limits with a quiz that will test your skills and make your brain sparkle! Are you ready to take on the challenge, mathletes? Let's show everyone what we're made of! Easy round. Number 1. The length of a rectangle is 3 times its width. If the width is represented by the variable w, what is the expression for the perimeter of the rectangle? Again, the length of a rectangle is 3 times its width. If the width is represented by the variable w, what is the expression for the perimeter of the rectangle? The choices are a. 3w b. 6w c. 8w d. 12w The correct answer is C. 8W Number 2 In 5 years, John will be twice as old as he is now. If John's current age is represented by the variable J, which equation represents this situation? Again, in 5 years, John will be twice as old as he is now. If John's current age is represented by the variable J, which equation represents this situation? The choices are A. J plus 5 equals to J B J minus 5 equals to J C to J plus 5 equals J D to J minus 5 equals J The correct answer is A J plus 5 equals to J Number 3. I am a number. If you multiply me by 3 and then subtract 5, the result is 16. What number am I? Again, I am a number. If you multiply me by 3 and then subtract 5, the result is 16. What number am I? The choices are A. 4 B. 5 C. 6 D. 7 The correct answer is D. 7 Number 4 Children under the age of 12 must be accompanied by an adult. Which inequality represents the ages of children who must be accompanied by an adult? Again, children under the age of 12 must be accompanied by an adult. Which inequality represents the ages of children who must be accompanied by an adult? The choices are A. Age is less than 12 B. Age is greater than 12. C. Age is less than or equal to 12. D. Age is greater than or equal to 12. The correct answer is A. Age is less than 12. Number 5. A shirt costs $25 and a pair of pants costs twice as much as the shirt. How much do the shirt and pants cost together? Again, a shirt costs $25 and a pair of pants costs twice as much as the shirt. How much do the shirt and pants cost together? The choices are A. $50 B. $75 C. $100 D. $125 The correct answer is B. $75. Woohoo! Round one down, mathletes! You made those problems look easy! But don't let your guard down because the next round is going to be even more exciting! Remember, every challenge makes you stronger and smarter! Let's keep the winning streak going! Average round. Number one. The sum of two consecutive odd numbers is 36. What is the smaller of the two numbers? Again, 
The sum of two consecutive odd numbers is 36. What is the smaller of the two numbers? The choices are A. 15 B. 17 C. 19 D. 21 The correct answer is B. 17. Number 2. Two cars start at the same point and travel in opposite directions. One car travels at 60 miles per hour and the other travels at 40 miles per hour. How long will it take for the cars to be 250 miles apart? Again, two cars start at the same point and travel in opposite directions. One car travels at 60 miles per hour and the other travels at 40 miles per hour. How long will it take for the cars to be 250 miles apart? The choices are A. 1 hour B. 2 hours C. 2.5 hours D. 4 hours The correct answer is C. 2.5 hours. Number 3. Sarah's mother is 3 years more than for time Sarah's age. If Sarah's age is represented by S, which expression represents her mother's age? Again, Sarah's mother is 3 years more than for time Sarah's age. If Sarah's age is represented by S, which expression represents her mother's age? The choices are A. For S plus 3 B. 3s plus 4, c. 4 times the sum of s and 3, d. 3 times the sum of s and 4. The correct answer is A. For S plus 3. Number 4. Emily is twice as old as her sister, Jessica. In 10 years, Emily will be 4 years older than Jessica. How old is Emily now? Again, Emily is twice as old as her sister, Jessica. In 10 years, Emily will be 4 years older than Jessica. How old is Emily now? The choices are A. 8 years old. B. 12 years old, C, 16 years old, D, 18 years old. The correct answer is A. 8 years old. Number 5. The sum of two numbers is 25, and their difference is 7. What is the product of the two numbers? Again, the sum of two numbers is 25, and their difference is 7. What is the product of the two numbers? The choices are A. 104 B. 144 C. 154 D. 184 The correct answer is B. 144. Amazing job, Mathletes! You're proving that you can tackle any challenge that comes your way. Now, get ready for the ultimate test of your math skills. This final round is designed to push you to your limits. But I have no doubt you'll rise to the occasion. Go for it, Mathletes! Difficult round. 
Number 1. The sum of three consecutive numbers is 36. What is the middle number? Again. The sum of three consecutive numbers is 36. What is the middle number? The choices are A. 11 B. 12 C. 13 D. 14 The correct answer is B, 12. Number 2. A boat travels 30 kilometers downstream in 2 hours and 30 kilometers upstream in 3 hours. What is the speed of the boat in still water? Again, a boat travels 30 kilometers downstream in 2 hours and 30 kilometers upstream in 3 hours. What is the speed of the boat in still water? The choices are A, 10 kilometers per hour, B, 12.5 kilometers per hour. C. 15 kilometers per hour. D. 17.5 kilometers per hour. The correct answer is B, 12.5 kilometers per hour. Number three. A bakery sells cookies for $1.50 each and muffins for $2 each. A customer buys a total of 12 items and pays $20. How many cookies did the customer buy? Again, a bakery sells cookies for $1.50 each and muffins for $2 each. A customer buys a total of 12 items and pays $20. How many cookies did the customer buy? The choices are A. 4 cookies B. 6 cookies C. 8 cookies D. 10 cookies The correct answer is C. 8 cookies. Number 4. The sum of four consecutive odd numbers is 112. What is the smallest of the four numbers? Again, the sum of four consecutive odd numbers is 112. What is the smallest of the four numbers? The choices are A. 23 B. 25 C. 27 D. 29 The correct answer is B. 25. Number 5. It takes John three hours to mow a lawn alone, and it takes his brother, Alex, for hours to mow the same lawn alone. How long will it take them to mow the lawn together? Again, it takes John three hours to mow a lawn alone, and it takes his brother, Alex, for hours to mow the same lawn alone. How long will it take them to mow the lawn together? The choices are A. 1.7 hours. B. 2 hours. C. 2.5 hours. D. 3.5 hours.
The correct answer is A. 1.7 hours. Congratulations, Mathletes! You've conquered the final round and proven yourselves to be true math champions! Give yourselves a big round of applause! Remember, every step of this journey has made you a better mathlete! Keep practicing, keep learning, and keep shining! Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends! And subscribe to our channel for more math-tastic adventures! Way to go! Keep up the awesome work! And don't forget to drop your quiz score in the comments! Check out other videos from BrainWise!